this is how you figure out the percentage of a 52-week high with a 52-week low. Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics and we're going to be continuing on with our uh, stock market data. <clears throat> so last time, if you're new here, thanks for joining us. This is, so what we had is we got a lot of stuff and let's see, and we got it a little jumbled up, but we got, we have uh, two years of data right here. We got, we got two, two rows. We took in, uh, we dropped dividends, we dropped, dropped uh, stock splits. We did a 50-day uh, moving average and a 200-day moving average, and we set our max rows. And we did this all in place. But there's a, we need to clean this up some. Uh, this is this is a little much. Uh, we really kind of don't need the open high and low, so let's just go ahead and jump into it. But our ultimate goal today is we want to add one more column of what percentage of the 52-week high is um, is it trading? So let's just go ahead and look at this. So all right, let's see. So one. Let's kind of, well, let's get rid of open, all right, open. And if you're new here, thanks for joining us. This is what we do. We do one video at a time and we add to it. All right, and low, close that out. All right, and let's just go ahead and round this, clean this up some, close that. And round here to let's see where we are. Then we're gonna add. There we go. Oh, and then also we're gonna then slice this and index and only have 52 uh, 52 weeks. So we need to do that. So we need to practice our um, time series. We've been talking about that for a while, but um, we finally got to something. So here we go. There we are, and now we need to finish with one. So we know how to do this as well. So we're gonna we're gonna do. We need to add our 52 week high, 52 week low, and then um, and then do do some math. So here we go, uh, and then I'm gonna show you a problem, 52 week high, that we need to handle, and this is close dot uh, we're going to use same rolling and if we saw it was 256 so 256 and then guess what we took the mean this is the high so this is we're just going to take the max value then AA 52 week week low close that out so same thing, not a huge fan of copying and pasting, but you guys know what I'm doing, min. So all right, let's look at this, and then we're gonna do, all right. So of course we can't have 52 week high and low until we hit 250, so here we are. There we go, so we got our close, we got our uh, volume 50 50 day moving average 250 day to move an average 52 week high 52 week low whoa and check check out this huge swing all right so now now let's do something cool and add a percentage of where it is in comparison to the 52 week high what percentage it, is it off from its 52 week high because we're going to talk more about that because you get what's called resistance when you set new highs. So that is a huge and we'll we'll start we'll we'll start getting into that, but here we go. So all right, we're going to do uh, we're just going to do percent 
of high, oops, didn't make a string, percent of high. Close that out. And we know how to do this as well. So it's a, a, now we're gonna run into a problem right here and I'll show you. So Python doesn't like variables starting with, so you can see here we did this in dot notation. So here to clean this up, we're gonna do this column. And we're gonna, so if you were to do this without, you'd throw an error on your dot. So we're gonna, we got, we got coverages, weak, high, and close that out. And while we're doing this, we know it's gonna be a percent, so let's just round this right now. Get to the end, comma two, do, 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 do. Run and go. And then we only have one last thing to do. Slice, oh, look at this. So we got close, volume, 50 day, 200 day, 52 week high, 52 week low, and then the percentage of the high. So let's get down here to the bottom of this. Holy moly. It is only, so it's 70% off. You can, you can do this however you'd like to lay this out. So um, this is only a th uh, less than a third, only 30%. So it's 70% off of its high. That's how I, that's how I kind of want you to think about this. This has moved down 70% since it hit its last high. That is crazy. And as you can see, the high is just moving down and moving down and moving down. So this has, this has all kinds of problems. But now we still have this thing here that has two years, right? Uh, guess what? We're going to clean this up one last time. Let's see how we're doing on time. All right, we're, we're good, we're gold. All right, uh, check my notes. So we know that everything in here are strings. So it's just the format right there. So we're gonna reassign this. So AA, and we're just gonna slice this. So 2019, that's the format, four, 30, close this out, so it's there's our starting point, and then through uh, 2020, 430, close that out, close that out, then bam, 256, which we know is our, oh, perfect and awesome. So here we go, close, volume, 50 day, 200 day. Look at these. And we could clean that up just a little bit. But, and then here's this downward trend. Popped up a little bit here, 50, 51. There's a little bit, but I think it's just because the high is moving down. Got upwards of 60. And then next time, we're gonna be graphing this stuff and we got a ton of data. And then we're gonna, we're gonna start really talking and looking and seeing what all this valuable information is because I kind of want to show you that I noticed about this that every four months the volume ticks up and I wasn't even using any any tools that's one of the things of why this is so why I love this so much is that the things that I notice now I can turn a piece of software into noticing all this stuff for me so there you go guys Please drop any comments, questions, any video requests down below, and I'll knock them out. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. And this is how you figure out the percentage of a 52-week high with a 52-week low and, a, and, uh, and how it interacts with it. So there we go, guys. Thanks as always. Stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. And if you haven't, check out this video right here or this one right down here. And most important, make sure you're hitting this subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks again for joining us and we hope to see you next time. Bye guys.